Hey guys, how you doing? You staying out of trouble? Old Steve -O stays out of trouble. At least I try to. What are these girls doing in here? They're hitting that a little bit. I'll tell you what, guys. These hives are pumping up since I've been putting the old Cayman Reynolds patties on. I've been playing patty cake with the bees. Yeah, they're doing great. They're coming along. This, these, these hives are fattening up. I just added a super here. This thing was completely blown out. So I added another super there on that one. I added a deep. I added a deep one on. Yeah, this girl down here. Doing well. Doing well, and these patties are gobbling them up. I got to get in here tomorrow. And uh, oh, look at here. Look at that. Look at one of those little troublemakers. Oh, here's another one right on top. I don't know. They like the smell of these things. The bees were really hitting these the other day. This thing keeps blooming. It's not very impressive. But this thing will all come out. There's another one. But it's just constantly, you can see it, it's making more on this uh, sweet almond. So I like this tree. But what I don't like, see right up there, them some bees. Don't, they're up there laughing at me, guys. They really are. They're laughing. Don't they, don't they know I have feelings, too? I think I hurt their feelings when I stuffed them in this box over here. And they decide to leave. So they're sitting up there laughing at me. But anyway. I got some boxes here. I loaded them up. I put lemongrass, all this stuff in here. I got a bunch of these hives all loaded up. So what their little problem is, I don't know. I wanted to show you this contraption here. I made this thing back in the early 80s. There was a uh, an outfit that made tanks for the citrus industry. I don't know, back in the day, this is back, I think I got a hundred and a quarter in this thing. Because I was always down there getting stuff from them guys. I mean, it's heavy duty, I don't know. The whole tank, it's all stainless steel. I had them put, this is my own design. I had them put a baffle in it, okay? I had them put this little baffle in it, and it's sealed. This thing's all watertight. I had them put one inch uh, angle iron on the sides. I got a uh, tap over here with a ball valve on it. You can see it's ancient, it's all rusted out. The ball valve still works though. They put a stainless nipple down there, right here. This thing has worked great for melting. I can set this right on top of a turkey fryer. A big turkey fryer. Here's another one, I just got a cap in that. And the way this thing worked, was I saw them out there, the wax melters, and uh, I couldn't believe what they were getting for them. So I said, no, we're gonna build our own. So I only got back in the day, like this was in the 80s, in the early 80s that I had this done. So this thing would probably cost you quite a bit more. Yeah, and uh, well, what I did was took three quarter uh, copper pipe, three-quarter copper pipe and I used uh, to solder it I used uh, the silver you know lead free and what I did is took copper fittings and I made a coil in here and for water for make a steam made a steam deal where I could run my steam through and I just ran it all the way down put two uh, street L's, copper street L's, back, and I just went back and forth, back and forth, all the way across. I had probably, I don't know, they were spaced out. There's probably, I've got it out back. Then what I did is took a propane tank and tore the, uh, unstreaded the uh, valve out of it, and I made a steam generator. 
and I had this copper pipes come up and out and over. Then I took heater hose, regular car heater hose, and I went off of that thing, and I I had a, a, a uh, it was three I think it was three quarter thread in the, in that valve. So I came up, and then I came up with a uh, two inch coupler. So I went from three quarter to two inch galvanized coupler with a uh, cap on it, two inch plug that went in it, drilled the plug and thread it in. No, I didn't either. I put a reducer on it, a two inch to three quarter reducer. And then from there I went over to my line and a copper line that I came up with. It was just hooked together real easily with hose clamps. So your steam, uh, put that tank, filled it up about halfway with water, and I could extract uncapped for quite a while with that before it ran out. And all it would do is just a monitor. I had a hose that went off so it wasn't steamed out in the room. Actually, it went outside. This whole tank was outside my building. I knocked a hole in the wall, brought the heat line in through this live steam coming into this thing. And I put it right on the bottom. And this thing worked cool because the steam was coming through there. And uh, I could just set this on the bench and I would uncap right into it. And it would melt the wax. But I had a baffle here. As you can see, this baffle wall is in here. But it's up about, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch is all. That held your wax back over in this chamber. But what it would do is fill up as the wax is melting. The wax would come on up. But it would only come out this height right here. It would come out here. And if you could you could just leave this off and have a pan under here. And uh, but what I what I would do is I had a little swing L here. I had it came up and let this thing really get to melt and then I could bring it down slowly and run off into my catch pan. That thing worked slick. And uh, I had a homemade extractor that I used but nowadays I just cut out honeycomb, but I'm still using this thing to melt my wax. But what I'm doing now, what I'm doing now is cutting out all my old comb wax and dumping into this thing and putting a turkey fryer underneath. I've got one in the, in the barn, a little bit better and bigger than that one. It really puts out a flame and I set that on there. So yeah, and it's great for cutting out comb and stuff, but I want to show you something else. Miss Daisy and I were doing a little ride around yesterday. And I have to show you what I got. Nine thousand degrees in this barn right now, so let me turn on a little air here. Look at this beauty, guys. Enterprise. I went online trying to find out the year on this. If any of you guys out there know the year this thing was produced, let me know. It did come. It did come with these uh, little sausage tubes, but as I discovered, it was missing a part here where this went on. I have a saucy stuffer, so I don't need that, okay? But, uh, anyway, this is a, uh, it says here, 6341. It's a large 8-quart. And uh, it, was, it has some rust on it. And uh, so what I did is went in and got grill spray. This thing goes down, it worked great. This thing was a... This was a little rusty, so I sprayed it down and wiped it off, and all the rust came off really nice. So what you do, crank this up till it comes out of the hole. Then you got a little lever here. You pull this over, right? 
now this whole thing can swing out of the way. This whole thing to get at your inside goodies. This is going to work slick, guys, I'm telling you. So the plan is here is to take I got paint strainers here. I just went to Lowe's. Bought some paint strainer bags, five gallon. Okay, a two pack. I got that. I want to. You've got all those pupa skins and all that junk in that wax. So what I'll do? I bought a cup too, a little painter, handy paint cup for dipping. I'm going to heat the wax out in that contraption you've seen out there. Dump it in there with all the sludge and junk in it. I'm going to swing this thing out of the way. I'm going to install my bag in here. And when I load it up, get it all loaded up, I'm going to sit some, sit some buckets. I'll probably do it right here on this bench. This thing is also made to put anchors in. You can anchor it. You can put it on a table if you want to and anchor it down. But I'll be probably moving this thing around. But I will put buckets here, five gallon buckets up here, and then slide a uh, catch pan right up under this thing. And what I'll do is put that, like I say, the bag in here, use this cup, dip it out, load it up, water, wax, junk and all goes in here. When I get it, what I think is enough, twist that top down, the water is going to be steadily running out. I'm putting no valves here, nothing. It's just going to be steadily running out. And then I will crank that puppy down and squeeze this bag out. Squeeze all that wax and junk out right through this thing. Now they had another one down there. They had a $200 and uh, $45 price tag on it. And it looked about the same as this thing. This one here had a $159 price tag on it. So I flagged the girl down. I said, uh, when I seen this thing, I said, the light bulb came on. I said, I was going to build one of these things with an all-thread rod and, and a wooden box and all that. And then when I saw this thing, the light bulb, the Stevo light bulb came on, I said, this is it. So I said to the girl, hey, I see you got two of the presses back there. Oh, uh, yeah. I said, well, one's got a $159 price on it. Yeah. I said, you take 100 bucks for it. She says, I don't know. Let me go ask the boss lady. So she gets with the boss lady. About five minutes later, she comes back. Boss lady says she will take $110. I said, you just sold that thing. So there it is. 110 bucks You guys let me know if I got screwed on this deal. I don't think so because I went out there online looking actually I went out on a line looking to see To see if uh, What are these things running and they they were all up and down the chart But a lot of them were well over a lot of them were up $200 on these things So if any of you guys know about what year these things were made like I said this is an enterprise MFG and it says a large uh, 6341 8 quart this is an 8 quart deal so I think this is going to work out fantastic fantastic squeezing my wax out cleaning this wax up and reusing it because I'll remelt it and paint roll it on my frames you know Oh, look at else what Steve did here. 30 pound dummies. Yeah, I'm up to 30 pound dumbbells now. Better watch out, Hulk Hogan. I might body slam you. No, no, that ain't happening. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I thought I'd show you this. I thought I'd show you that some of the bees are still in the trees. And I think I'm going to be catching them soon because. I can outweigh them. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Be happy.